Hey everyone, uh, Z here. We're going to hop right into what I'm call calling the Duna Outpost after a long absence from me. Uh, I hope you enjoy the video. Alright, so here we have our uh, Kerbin Station and Launch um, sections, if you will. Pretty much packed anything and everything I could onto this thing. We've got plenty of power, we've got some xenon gas in there, um, you know. Anything that I could really fit is on there, so that'll uh, come in handy later. We got the uh, star cluster going on for the main stage, and then the main sail engines uh, going up for our boosters. So, without further ado, let's get this thing on. All right, so launch in three, two, one. <laughs> All right, well, that's an iffy launch there. You can see my computer's already having some issues. And it's at about at this point that I realized that uh, my recording, the, oh, and apparently I launched the boosters too soon. No, but my uh, the thing that's recording my screen here has apparently cut things off. Uh, so we're not seeing the bottom and the top, and it really bothers me, but I've already recorded all of this uh, episode here, so I promise that I'll work on that in the future. Um, so we're getting into orbit here. You can see me using the mainsail for uh, my uh, orbital engine, if you will. Um, it kind of ran out of gas a little bit. I didn't plan for that, so we had to use some of the fuel that I actually had on the station uh, itself, as you can see it transferred there. And that's quite all right. Um, that gas tank on the uh, or the fuel tank on the station is just there for storage, really. Um, and the fact that we had to use it is really no problem. So here we are. We're in orbit. Um, uh, we're going to go ahead and move on to the space gun. Uh, here you can see the star engine formation again, uh, as I mentioned earlier. This thing's just incredibly uh, efficient, uh, and so it's a favorite of mine to use. Coming on up, so we've got the nuclear engine on here, I do believe. Um, nope, I was wrong. So we've got just that standard engine to get us in orbit. And then here's our space tug. So I've got docking ports on either end here. This is all fuselage in the middle, no fuel. Um, Got fuel right here, and then it's just decked out with, you know, electronics, um, hardware, you know, batteries, just everything we're going to need. <clears throat> now, when we connect it to the station, we're not necessarily going to need all that stuff, but uh, it's going to come in handy later, I'm sure. So we're going to use this. We're basically going to just bring it up to the station now, um, and then, what am I trying to say here? We'll bring it up to the station. We'll just dock it just to get it on there, and then when we're, when we're ready to start dragging it along to Duna, the station, that is. Uh, we'll flip it around. Um, so we pull it instead of pushing, because I think physics-wise and stability-wise, that's going to be better. So um, we'll show you that here later on. Uh, let's go ahead and get this thing launched. All right, uh, we're ready for launch in three, two, one. Well, as you can see there, um, my computer decided to not cooperate once again. So uh, you can see the space tug here. Uh, we have now rendezvoused ish. I mean, we're getting close to the station now. Um, we're going to keep coming in. Um, I'll go ahead and fast forward this a little bit just so we don't waste any time. But like I said before, uh, we're just getting this thing onto the station just to attach it. Um, we're actually going to run an off camera supply run after we get this thing docked just so we can have some gas to uh, transfer back into the tug uh, to drag the station uh, to Duna, which is our goal here. So um, we'll just go ahead and watch this uh, rendezvous. It's a little rough. Um, uh, it's been a while since I played, as I'm sure you guys have noticed. And so uh, working on my rendezvous, I kind of started making the same rookie mistakes that uh, I made initially when I started, or when uh, 18 came out, which is going off these these pink um, indicators on the um, nav ball, which you can see here, or maybe I've already corrected for it. Um, I don't know, we got to get closer, but but I wasn't killing the velocity, or maybe I did figure it out. Yeah, um, but I wasn't, you know, you, when you get close to the station, you got to kill the velocity to zero, at least that's the way I do it, and then burn towards it. You know, it's kind of stop, go, stop, go for me until I, until I work on it a little bit more, so. Um, but it, it eventually worked out. 
um, and, it, and it, you know, it's kind of like riding a bike, you, you just kind of get back into it, so. Uh, now we're getting closer to the station here. Um, it's going to take me a couple rounds here, and I actually end up controlling the station to dock on the tug instead of vice versa, because as you can see, our RCS fuel is running extremely low, uh, and I was incredibly wasteful, so. I'll just let this go ahead, and we'll catch back up when uh, it's time to start pulling the station to Dina. And there we have it, uh, finally docked. That was quite the pain. Um, hopefully I don't make those mistakes again in the future. Um, so we're gonna do a little bit of uh, resource redistribution here. Uh, that's the whole point of having all the uh, resources on the station so we can start transferring it out um, into the tug here. So as we take care of that, uh, we're gonna get oriented now. I mean, it's not like, uh, you know, the thrust from the engines are going to really damage the uh, station or anything, but I wanted to pull this around just to kind of offset the engines from the uh, solar panels just in case, uh, you know, I didn't want to get this thing all the way to Duna and have it, you know, blow off the solar panels because I don't have any of the uh, generators on. So there we are. We've turned it, uh, or we, we've turned the tug around to, to pull the station instead of push it like I talked about earlier. Uh, I think that's going to work out better for us. Uh, now we're just getting set up for uh, the trip to Duna. Um, at this point, I have already <clears throat> brought up a, uh, a resupply, just a gas and uh, RCS resupply mission. I called it uh, KRN. Uh, those of you that follow the SpaceX news, you'll get that. Uh, we're calling it Kerbin resupply or commercial resupply uh, one. Uh, which I will record more here, but uh, as you can see, you know, we're already making our way to Duna here so that the future resupply missions are going to be all the way out to Duna, so that should be fun. Um, now, and I, I have to admit here, this is actually my uh, second trip to Duna. You see we got a satellite orbiting there, so that was my first, and I just did that a couple hours before we recorded this video. Um, but, you know, this is a learning experience for me, you know, just getting the, uh, the phase angles right. It was, a, it was a very frustrating thing. So if any of you out there, you know, working on, um, I mean, maybe I'm the only one that hasn't even traveled to Dune yet or anything, but if I'm not, you know, don't give up on it and just keep trying. Um, the flight planner here, the maneuver planner, <clears throat> can, excuse me, can definitely help you a lot. Uh, so I highly encourage you to use it um, and just don't get frustrated on it um, like I am here. Uh, we keep going and eventually we get there, but, you know, it can definitely be a pain if you don't know what you're doing, which I apparently did not. So, we'll get there eventually, um, and, and I pretty much end up taking the long way here. Uh, I thought I had the angle right, um, and I was just totally messing this thing up. So, uh, we eventually get it, and uh, we start our burn. Okay, so I don't waste your guys' time. Uh, we finally got it up. I think our encounter is pretty far out there, but we're getting lined up here. Um, and this burn's gonna be forever. As you guys know, these nuclear engines are, are extremely efficient, but don't put out very much thrust. So we kind of have a wobbly time here. Um, and like I said, we kind of take the long way. So you can see it's burning. We're starting our burn. Uh, it was 
extremely long. I mean, the times are cut off because this thing wouldn't record right, but um, you know, this thing took for forever. I want to say probably nine minutes or something like that, or maybe maybe less, maybe a little bit more. I can't remember exactly. Um, <clears throat> and uh, we actually end up having some issues. My computer once again doesn't agree with me, uh, and we miss the uh, orbit and arrow break completely. Well, here we are. Uh, we are finally orbiting Duna. We get a pretty low orbit going on here. Um, don't mind this little guy over here. Uh, so we did bring the uh, arrow break in. Uh, my computer definitely wasn't having recording and rendering videos while uh, you know doing a bunch of the crazy stuff in KSP. Um, I'll see what I can do about that in the future, but uh, for now, here we are orbiting Duna. Uh, we have the, what I call, Duna Outpost. Now this is going to be pretty much pretty much the uh, the future base for any uh, surface operations we're going to do to the surface of Duna. I'm trying to get ready for 19 uh, and the resource mining, so hopefully this will help. Uh, we'll have future videos here of supplies coming in, some other guys coming in, as well as the design, development, launch, and um, rendezvous of the vessels we're going to send to the surface. So. Uh, thanks for watching, and uh, we'll see you next time.